Hello there, internet. Yes, it is I, Tank Top Douche, with a blue shirt. Again, coming at you with another video trying to make these intros a little bit different so I don't feel like I'm doing the same shit again and again, as we are gonna feature a more standard deck, like no, nothing too new today, because I wanted to showcase a new card on this archetype, and that is the Rhyme Fang Den Mother. But as you guys have noticed, she is not in the thumbnail, despite the fact that we are running two copies of her in the deck. Why is that? Well, I was going to put her in the thumbnail because I really, really, really wanted to because I really love the art and uh, I thought it was a good chance to, you know, showcase a card that I know a lot of people are looking forward to. But my conscience, you know, I do have a conscience. It, it, it got the better of me and ultimately decided, you know what? I'm not going to clickbait. Why? Because unfortunately... Even though I have a billion games in today's session, like, I have a lot of games for you guys today, I did not fucking draw her once! Maybe I did draw her once, but it was too late. I, I don't want to spoil anything, but I just don't get to showcase her. And because I'm running so bad on time, you know, I, I can't, like, just record a new video, because I got really good quality, like, I got amazing games. I just don't draw this fucking thing. And it's frustrating. And I was gonna be like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna. And at the end of the video of like the recorded session, I'm just like rambling. You know what? I'm just like trying to justify. You know, I'm like, what? I'm gonna put it in the thumbnail. You know, I I I work to get a new video every day. Whatever. I don't even know what I said, but I was basically rambling for a while, trying to justify my actions. So ultimately, I decided against it. You guys get the incessant techni technician in the th thumbnail instead, which actually puts in massive amounts of work in today's video. And uh, we'll we'll have another day. We'll have another go at Rhyme Fang Dead Mother. Maybe perhaps in a zombie ash sort of shell with uh, Shadow Owls. We can approach that. Though I I think she just fits this deck amazingly well. Why? Well, because she synergizes with Trifarian Assessor and with our reputation and with the amount of frostbites that we got going on for us here. We have the ability to very consistently get the. Rhyme Fang pack uh, over five power, and that is just really strong value for a six drop. Uh, this card is really, really good in in all stages of the game, really, and uh, I am a big fan of it. I have played it outside of the recording session and done great with it, but you know, YouTube curse, I guess. So the rest of the deck is my take on the Ash Frostbite mid range, a deck that is as old as this game is itself. But nonetheless, a fantastic deck that will always have a spot in the meta because we have the ability to take on other unit-based, attack-based decks really well with our Frostbites paired with our high-power units. And I just really love playing Ash, and I, I miss playing her, and I thought this card would be a great excuse for that, even if you didn't appear in this fucking video. But we'll try again some other time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video regardless. I think, like I said, the gameplays are really good, and there's a lot of games today as well, so hopefully... You guys don't mind the absence of uh, the dead mother here. Nonetheless, uh, thank you guys for the support on the channel. Like I said, I'm bulk recording because I'm taking a, a vacation. And I want to make sure I keep you guys posted daily. And uh, hopefully the content has been to your liking. And I just want to say that I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. And uh, yeah, that's where I'll end it at. Thank you for watching. Have a solid day. Enjoy the games. I'll be back at it tomorrow. Okay, some scouts. This is definitely a dangerous matchup. If they get under us. I'm gonna keep this opener. Even though LeBlanc is questionable. It's hard to say no to LeBlanc in the opener. And we do have Bird of Steel. Alright, so he has an elite in hand, which means none of the champions. What other options could it be? I need just a moment. Not gonna waste the Brutal Steel on a 2 2. Looking for trouble. It found you. The best lies are just a little farther. Are you certain? I'm one of the good guys. But not that good. Alright, we managed to get Ash in there and uh, we started picking off their board a little bit. 
As this this is probably the turn to play Avaris and Hearthguard. Well, maybe not. For the glory of yeah, I mean we can still if he dares to challenge this, and we're okay with that. The War Mother will unite us all. All right, good good play. Love ya. Good play. History forgets, but the Black Rose remembers. Show them what we're made of! Today we fight as one! Stand for what's right! Defend our banner! Into lies. All right. We got a bunch of frostbites, which means we got to do our very best to preserve this board. In a long path to get you. Fresh out of mercy. Go triple frostbites. Okay. Allows them to preserve. Crystal arrow, and we shot him down. No rhyme, Fang Wolf. <laughs> that was a good game to start things. The war is over. Feels good to beat down like the Masia style decks and just Frostbites because they have to attack, right? That's why no matter what happens, Ash Frostbite Midrange will always have a spot in the meta, just because it really tackles on decks that you know revolve around attacking very well. But I want to showcase this new card, so let's go for another one. All right, Diego. Diego is so bugged. Uh, I want to keep the calling strike, actually. I want to keep this entire hand. Because I, I can frostbite Diego and remove him with this. I like that brittle steel, too. In case... Blade. We're vulnerable to Vile Feast that turn, but I because I saw that second Trifarian Glory Seeker, I wanna I wanna play them back to back. I mean if he has Vile Feast, so be it. I really want to get this LeBlanc going. Is it smart to get this LeBlanc going? Yeah. Places to go, people to be. Gently, gently. <laughs> We're going for five damage. We want to trade into this. Better, 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 better. Ooh, ooh. Arrow? I think not. 
I want to pass back there. Right. Show me a target for glory. Face me. Got a lizard and a shovel. We're gonna play the Avaros and Hearthguard, buff our deck as we're aiming for a big Trifaring SS return. It's not attacking into us though. Whoo! Man, this assessor is so tempting though. We're gonna use this little trick to buff up our deck again. All right, there's Diego. Arda's gonna make a meal of them. Only the finest serve. Um... Wrap him up tight. I don't know how I feel about dropping my vehicle like that. Wow. Face me! 
Our banner will lead the way. Today we fight as one. Got him. I had the Coley Strike in the back just in case that thing got out of hand, but I threatened lethal by going wide like that. And we shut him down, baby. Man, we're really showcasing LeBlanc in this video, but where, where's the Rhyme Fang? I, I, I need to know her name, by the way. I need to know her name, and I gotta show the case her in this video. I gotta draw her. I, I tried drawing her. Rhyme Fang Den Mother. There we go. Where are you? And the tactician, man. We got a lot of big bombs that we didn't draw into there. All right, round three. Uh-oh. Burn is always a very, very spooky match of fresh. I like the Ice Veil Archer. I don't know how I feel about the Calling Strike, to be honest, because it can... I mean, we can combine it, right? It's not bad to have, but I really want to find... Avaros and Trapper is very important for us to have a chance here. But I don't know if I want to mulligan away Ash. Uh-oh. Maybe I should have mulliganed away Ash. But I mean, to be fair, it's just one card that I'm searching for, right? So it's hard to justify that a lot of times. This way we prevent him from playing Draven. Or he can just do that, and uh, we can do this. A true Fenyorian welcome. For glory, face me. Doesn't feel great though. Because uh, when our units have one health and our opponent swarms so well, we, as you guys can see, we are in a bit of a predicament. This is a good draw though. Man, 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 man. I will unite the failure. Hey, kiddo. Dig your get up. Got access, need the victims. I'll protect the village here. No backing down. It's a lot of damage. And now we can use throw champ. Now we got the axe out of him. Prevent the axe speed generated by this. How important is that? They must really want that axe. The time is right. Strike now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Okay. Yeah. If, if they have that axe, they would have been able to level her up immediately. Did he just top deck that? Excited. Ay, big yikes. Big, big yikes.
That's a rummage. That would be too perfect, right? We have one objective. I need just a one way of winning here. Now it's a party. Only the finest serve. And that is by by OTKing him. That's the only way. We need him to not have anything, just units. No Draven. It's Draven time. Well, that Draven actually saves him because the axe can allow him to block. I mean, it was a lot to ask for, right? But if they if they drew like if they just drew units, um, we can actually crystal arrow wipe him here. He plays another unit, and then we attack and frostbite it with Ash. And this is exactly so. Wait, what? Now we're cooking. Wait, what? Oh, you have oh you have a rummage. Wait, 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 are they choking? Wait, they're choking. Oh my god, they just choked. Why, why would you do that? What? What? Oh, they threw so hard, dude. The war is over. Now we rebuild. They threw Oh my god. Dude. Like all they had to do was keep the axe. Oh, but did they not know? No, but I mean they they saw my crystal arrow. Like all they needed to do was fucking hold on to the axe. That's it. You hold on to the axe, you, you you use it to block one of my units to survive, and then you just throw rockets at me, right? Because if you haven't get excited, you just need to draw Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I think they didn't count that. I, I I think they just did not count and they're like, there's no way you can kill me, and, and, and they just and they just wanted to finish the game there. Like Yeah. Aggro players, do your math. You're welcome. All right, it's Frey. We faced them in yesterday's video, actually. And they're playing Draven with Riven. I'll keep the uh, Trifarian Glory Seeker and I'll drop uh, those two. I'll keep the Troll Chin as well. Victory requires a sharp blade. All right, it's boom baboon. We definitely don't want to trade with that. Words of power linger in the air. Alright, we took six damage from those two. Should target this one, yeah. Force us to block with this. Oh, 
Now we're getting a big sport. To be fair, we've been drawing a lot of calling strikes, and uh, in this matchup, calling strikes aren't really that great. E yikes. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. Big yikes. That I am superior life form. For glory. Face me. You're mine. We can't really do much. They're 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 going too wide for us. We can calling strike here. Try to alleviate some pressure. Man, how many one drops this man have? It's all one drops. The entire deck is one drops. Bro. Bro, you gotta chill. We got a frostbite this turn. Man, this guy, this guy just goes so wide. Like, how many one drops is that? Seriously, this is like it goes wider than the the Jinx Raven deck. I can't, I can't do shit. If I, if I had, if I had a record, he's playing into a reckoning, which is something that I'm, I'm just a little bit like weirded out by. But I mean, I, I guess at this point. He just has to. I mean, I have I have harsh winds. Can hit two of these. I can block into one of these, and I still I still take lethal with the axes. Even with a, a flash freeze, I still die. Hey, when there's like 21 drops, we we struggle. <laughs> we definitely struggle. Okay. That's a spicy one. Maybe this is the game to showcase the Ryan Fang War Mother. Don't want to jinx it though. I'm gonna drop uh, these flash freezes. I'm actually gonna keep the Everos in Hearthguard. Because I feel like this game is gonna be a little bit slower. Because it is Zillion. Maybe go hard. I don't mind just passing my first couple of turns and then start developing units with spell minute backup. Alright. That is an exchange we are very much happy with because most of the value has already been translated over to the top of our deck. Beautiful. The trap is set. I want to surprise him with this. Oh my Wamu Yeti. Alright. Oh my Wamu Yeti. Let's go. My woman, Yeti. The way is the way the stories were true. You <laughs> should have interrupted him. The way is always a shut the fuck up. Shut up, old man. Disrespect. Don't know the trick. Bit a bit of bit a bit of beautiful. Fuck it, Casey. There it is. I'm getting a little bit worried because I just. Cannot seem to draw the Rhyme Fang War Mother. Or Dead Mother. We love it when they run. Interesting. Bam, bam. Oh, you showed me that beforehand, though. Bam, ba -da -da. Not this time. Now. 
going for damage. Da -da 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 -da. No, Ryan Fang, dying mother. Aren't you kind of dead? Okay, you're not dead, but you take a shitload of damage. Alright, so that's the second go hard. He needs two more and he gets to wipe my board. But the beautiful thing is, no matter what happens, we will be able to play our Tarfinger Assassin next turn, and we're going to be able to draw three cards off of it. So even if he does find the Pack Yo Bags, we're good. Yep. Before, before he gets to wipe my board. Line up. Line up! Yep, we do this. Me. Next turn we have a total of 8 mana. I'm gonna smack him because I, I want to go with a surprise inside the tactician. At least we showcase the tactician. I cannot draw this this Rhyme Fang War Mother, Den Mother. Observe the price of ambition. Ba -da, ba -da 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 -da. Sharpen the blade. Secure the kill. Ba -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 One game with this card for the thumbnail, man. God damn it. Uno Peso is playing Sivir with Zed. It's a dope ass Zed. This is pretty ideal. The flash freeze. Maybe I can mully away the flash freeze, hoping for like a brutal steal. Harsh wind's not bad either. Bam, bam. Gonna keep that archer defensively. Sun's beneath me and winds behind me. Gotcha. Shapestone can still do this. Or Twin Disciplines, alright. We're off to a rough start because uh, this this stat line has done a lot of trouble here. Seen tombs, towns, and everything in between. Come on, Rip! Woohoo! Trample him! No backing down. Saw that a mile away. Time is right. Strike now. Scared of a fair fight? Yeah. I, w I was going to drop the archer initially, but Yeti into into Trochan into uh, Frostbite allow allowed me to basically wipe him. If I could get the chance. Show me a target. And now we can open attack. Chase what you want without mercy. All right. And just hit him back. One must stand the word before burning the pyre. <laughs> I, just, I just, I love, I love how the frostbite goes. Uh, besides the beyond the spell shield, thank God. You like frogs, huh? 
Alright, we get to we, we get rid of the young witch, which is the most important thing. Not only that, but we got the Iceville Archer as well. Okay, his man's trying to go for the OTK. We got double flash freeze. I mean, this is a very key draw here. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> We're on fire, man! This deck is pretty good to work, but I still can't draw! Rhyme Fang Dead Mother, man! Ugh! Alright, one last shot. Well, let's, let's actually... Let's see what anime cards we get. Oh, I will take the wings and the wave. I really, I think this one drop is such, it's so cool. Like, I love the art, I love the voice acting, and I love what the card does as a one drop. I just, I love everything about the, the, the wings and the wave. All right. Where, where are you at? Okay. Last shot. Let's see if we can draw her. Okay. Lurk it is. Social awkward 69. All right, let's drop one Triangular Seeker. Keep the other one. And keep the Brutal Steel as well. All right. I could have attacked with the Evidence of the Trapper, but I, I, I want to keep the Striferian Seeker option open. If they keep going wide, then I will be encouraged to go for it. He's only triggered Lurk once, but what if it was a... I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go ahead and say I'm devastated. In fact, oh my god, that's huge. Oh, perks of, of running the deck. Alright. I should have played the the Avros and Hearthguard first, but I was worried about a Piranha. I was worried about a Swarm pumping up his attacks. Oh, we found her! We did it, boys! All right, double Preservarium.
I mean, I know I want to play this, but if I can win, I'm gonna win. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, it's, I was like, oh wow, is he gonna level up and wipe my board? <laughs> I freaked out for a second. Bro! Whatever, man. Whatever. I, I played this card a bunch in my... in my... Oh, man. I didn't play it once. But the way, the way the game's played out, man, I literally did not draw it until the last game. Like, you cannot blame me if I don't draw the card. I have two copies of it in my deck. I'm conflicted now. I'm conflicted because I can't really use... Can I... I mean, it's part of the deck! I don't have all the time in the world because I'm bulk recording for you guys to make sure that you have daily uploads because I'm going on a, a mini vacation. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's like I, I go, it's, you know. I'm, I'm looking forward to it, but it's not like I have a choice in it. Like, I, only, I always do the same thing every year. So, yeah, I, I want to make sure I keep the daily uploads rolling and we're, we're very bad on time recording and everything and I just, I, I can't, like, make this video forever just for the sake because the longer the video is the longer it takes to render man so i'm sorry i'm gonna include this card in the, in the thumbnail because it's a very important part of the deck uh i didn't get to showcase it because just the gods did not want me to draw it today but i've tried it and it puts in the massive work i i can guarantee you that like especially synergizing with referring assessor it just it's really powerful like the fact that this unit is overwhelmed is really strong and i want to explore using it alongside uh you know, zombie ash as well potentially, and it's a really dope card. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in the thumbnail. Sue me for clickbait. I don't give a shit. I tried. I legitimately tried drawing it. I couldn't. So that's that. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, some good old ash mid range, which is performing really well and actually uh, allowed us to climb quite a bit of masters today, and even, <laughs> even without drawing the new card. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoy the games. Have a soul day. And I'll see you tomorrow.